So this is finally part two of the individual throttle body build. Um, it took a little bit longer to get everything in and I'm still missing a few pieces and I got sent the wrong throttle bodies uh, for four of out of 12. So I'm gonna have to go through that and we're gonna have to work on that a little bit. But for the most part, they're installed and they're on and I think they look pretty good. So this is going to be mostly just going through and building, actually building the uh, parts that came off of this and putting everything together. So just got these cut out on the plasma table, the uh, intakes. Um, I know I said in the previous video that I was going to use stainless. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to. Um, mostly because I don't think it's going to be needed. Uh, I was going to use stainless as a little bit of a heat buffer. Once it gets up to a specific temperature, it won't, it won't matter. So these need a lot of cleanup. So I'm going to go through and do those. So here's the deal. I don't have proper testing equipment and I want to make sure this survives. So essentially, this is an iron. Um, don't do this at home, I guess. Uh, this is the piece. This is straight off the printer. I trimmed up the edge a little bit, but this is the exact same one that's going on that. And this is the big rep uh, high temp stuff. So supposedly this is good to about 160 degrees Celsius, which is about 320 degrees in Fahrenheit. Side note, I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between Fahrenheit and Celsius, and I usually design, well, this is a quarter inch hole and this is a six millimeter hole, so I am every engineer's worst nightmare. Um, I bounce back and forth between SAE and metric all the time which don't do that, it's terrible and it confuses everybody. So going from here, I'm going to heat this iron up. My goal is I'm not gonna run it to 320. I would like to, I would like to see 300 degrees sustained with no warping or anything like that, or no um, problems or anything like that, which is about 148.8 degrees Celsius. So I'm within the rated properties of the product, but I want to double check it before I go slapping motor on it. And then I'm also going to chemical test this, um, which by chemical test, I mean, I'm going to dip it in a thing of gasoline to see if it melts. So without further ado, let's. So ambient right now is, oh, well, 110. <laughs> Gotta love Phoenix. 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so about 145, 148 degrees Celsius. There's still a bunch of stuff on this iron from when I uh, was making circuit boards, so. Uh, so I checked the bottom of this, we're about 285 degrees on this with no deformation whatsoever um it's just as it left the print so i'm really uh i'm very impressed with this and it actually dissipates heat i mean the bottom of this is still 200 degrees and i can like i can hold it like this i mean uh it dissipates heat very very well yeah so far, very impressed. I mean, that was, I, I mean, it was 300 degrees. I was sitting there at 300 degrees and uh, no issues whatsoever. Um, yeah, and that was sustained. I mean, I left it on there for 20 minutes um, just to see how it'd do. And it did great, really, really good. And no warping or anything either. I mean, see, it's rock solid still. So uh, really don't try this at home. I have some absolutely terrible gasoline. Uh, that has been sitting outside for a very long time um, and is really not good. And I'm gonna dip the plastic part in there. Okay, it's been in there about uh, 15 minutes. Let's pull it out. It actually turned out pretty good. I'm not seeing any that I did all that uh, earlier. But, and you can actually see there's still a little bit of 
surface stuff on there, but it didn't eat it away or cause any problems. Yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with that. So a few things of note as we look at these um, 12 throttle bodies sitting here. These are all off of a uh, Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, you will notice these two, or this set, is different than those two. Um, that's because I got sent the wrong set. These have the smaller diameter. I think they're off of a later model, and they're the and they're the twin butterfly. We're just I gotta send those back and get the correct ones coming in. But essentially, what I'm going to do is because these are as modular as they are, you see that they just uh, bolt together and they unbolt and they can actually be broken down into singles. I'm just going to install these on the end of there. And then uh, I have to install spacers, 10 millimeter spacers, because the bore spacing on these is 80 millimeters. And I'm going on to the bore spacing of my intake manifold, which is 90 millimeters. So I'm just gonna add spacers there and then figure out those at a later date. As we look at the injector uh, harnesses as well, I obviously have taken these out already, but these just fit into here like that and get bolted on. Um, and I'm doing the exact same thing with this, except these very nicely come apart and we're left with these tubes. Um, they have an O-ring on the outside. They're 10 millimeters in diameter and I believe they're 60 millimeters long. So I'm going to just get 70 millimeter ones like this or make them and these will all bolt up the same. I'll have, uh, I'm also going to see how these end pieces are capped. I'm just gonna get another middle one, another two middle ones, and then I'll have uh, one per each side. I'm just gonna leave this in and convert this to 6AN and split this back, and that way I have my fuel rails set up. So I'm just gonna, going to continue to break these down. Um, I'm gonna break these throttle bodies down into individual ones because we have to space these out uh, 10 millimeters. So, let's start with this one end. on there and minus me missing three of these voila one set of throttle bodies okay um i'm gonna cut uh tubing next this is a coolant hose and i'm just gonna take some slices off of it for um uh for intake gaskets i mean it's good for it All right, now, like I said, um, this other side I'm just gonna do individually because obviously these were, uh, these are the correct ones, but I got sent four of the wrong ones, so I'm just gonna install those really quick. Um, and then replace them when the new ones come in, but I just wanted to get it mocked up, so I'll do that before. I mean, you can see the obvious problem with these.
And for the final touch, uh, eBay Velocity Stacks. Yeah. This is a, <laughs> I can't do the Doug DeMiro intro. This is a 1973 Corvette C3 and the V12 behind me is going to go in it. Um, if you've been following, like this has been the plan for a while. I just now went and got the car. I drove to Texas and back in the middle of a hurricane um, to pull this out of a mud field. If you've been watching, you've been noticing that there's not a Mercedes here anymore where I got the motor and it very carefully got put on to a trailer and hauled to the junkyard. So realistically, I know this car doesn't look great right now, um, but I promise you it's actually not that bad. Uh, this is a 73 454 four-speed car. Uh, so it's actually a, a, a decent Corvette, even according to Corvette people. But uh, of course it's getting the Mercedes and a six-speed, which I'll go over here in a minute. But overall, a little bit of bodywork here and there. Um, the interior is actually pretty good. I really can't complain about that. And some wiring, everything like that. Um, it should do okay. So I think we'll call it a day on that. Um, I have transmission and I have bell housing and a few things like that coming in soon. So that's probably going to be the next video as well as uh, oil pump and oil pan. Um, those are the next big hurdle and I actually have a cutout for the oil pan right here. This is the bottom part of the oil pan that I cut out. Um, and this, essentially I have to modify this because it has a special little seal on it too. And I'm probably just gonna weld this up so that it moves the oil pan from a front sump to a rear sump. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, the other part is, oh, I have to modify the oil pump and pickup tube uh, to get that all bolted in. However, I'm probably gonna at least, once I get the transmission bolted up, I'm probably gonna set the motor in the car, in the Corvette, just to make sure everything lines up and get motor mounts built, stuff like that, so then, uh, that I can slide this on. Um, once that happens, the car's gonna go to paint, uh, so I can get all that done, and then work on suspension, um, getting everything in, then at that point, getting everything wired up. That's about where we're at. Um, yeah, I'm gonna host as often as I can. Uh, sorry, it's been a little bit of a gap between videos on this. Uh, it just takes me a little bit of time. I was fighting individual throttle bodies recently. Uh, I was fighting individual throttle bodies on these. That's why it took a little bit longer. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments below what you think, how it's doing. Thanks.